Well, this play is called a fantastical biography. And what I mean by that, it was originally uh, sort of a parody of a biography. It was written by Virginia Woolf for uh, a friend and lover of hers named Vita Sackville West. And she began the play as sort of a joke, writing a biography for her friend, a fantastical biography in which she was born in the Elizabethan age and, uh, you know, met Queen Elizabeth who fell in love with her and met great famous writers, fell in love with a Russian princess, somewhere along the way transformed from a man into a woman and then got married in the 19th century and became a writer in the 20th century. Wolf's novel and Rule's play does raise serious questions about the role of women, the role of gender, all the way from the Elizabethan times to the present. But much of it is done with humor and farce. So how did Rule and Wolf really use humor in this? It is a very light and fantastical play. Um, it's incredibly humorous. It doesn't take itself too seriously. At the same time, there is a really serious context for the play, and that's not only Virginia Woolf's uh, relationship with uh, Vita Sackville West, but the forbidden nature of the relationship in their society at the time. These things could not be talked about in a public arena at the time that this book came out. And so the fact that everything is disguised as metaphor, the fact that everything is disguised as sort of a funny joke, um, is actually quite poignant because the, it's trying to say things through humor that it couldn't say seriously at the time. Orlando is searching for an identity throughout the play, from the time he was a young man to the time he was an, an older woman. He seems to be asking, who am I? But much of it is also the question about, can I become a writer? That's the one constant throughout the entire journey. I think that that's a significance that Virginia Woolf uh, had put in from the beginning because a lot of the novel does concern Orlando's journey to try and become a writer. And of course, at the beginning, she doesn't have ample inspiration to write her poem or she can't find her own voice. And so the search to become a writer is also the search to find your own voice, to find your own identity. And I think this is something that the playwright, Sarah Rule, really picks up on. Um, you know, in Virginia Woolf's time, being a writer was also a way for you to escape the gender boundaries um, of the society. Uh, Virginia Woolf, as a woman, couldn't uh, have certain rights. She didn't have certain powers as a woman in the society, but through her writing, she could gain some amount of power. Sarah Rule, who is writing in the 1990s, is obviously writing in a much more liberated society. Um, and, but nevertheless, I think that she was writing this as a young writer, and I think she picked up on this theme of being a young writer and trying to find her voice. So I imagine that Sarah Rule, the young playwright, saw a lot of herself in Virginia Woolf's novel. The play was commissioned by Chicago and Joyce Piven. Tell me about that. The play was commissioned by the Piven Theater in the late 90s, and Joyce Piven was actually the play's first director. Um, Sarah Rule, who is also a Chicagoan, uh, uh, did a lot of collaboration with Piven Theater uh, when she lived here when she was young. And the style of the play, Orlando, is very much uh, influenced by the style of theater that Joyce Piven and Byrne Piven developed and innovated at the Perven Piven Theater. Uh, it's what is known as story theater, a way of staging plays, a way of staging novels and epic narrative um, that allows you to have narration on stage and be able to cover large swaths of time and great distances that you wouldn't otherwise be able to in a realistic play. Why did Court decide to, to use this play? When we read this play, we all just fell in love with the language, with the playfulness of it, and we knew exactly who we wanted to direct it, uh, which is the director, Jessica Thebus, who has a long, uh, rich history with working with the playwright, Sarah Rule, and she's assembled a cast um, of six actors, many of whom have background in clowning, in physical comedy, in improvisation, um, and they're going to bring all those tools to the palette as they create this play. 
Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.